What is going on everybody? Your Royal Fatness here, Big Red. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Trust Me, I'm Fat. Now today we are in East Williston, New York. We are going to check out the Eternal Deli. This is right on Hillside Avenue here. Very busy road, very minimal parking, but I'm excited. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get a bacon, egg, and cheese, and we're gonna see what they got. But before we do anything, we have the one thing, one thing only, and that is what? Yup, that is right. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the button down below, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing this for you guys. You guys don't know how much you need this. I know how much you need this. Now let's freaking eat. The bag is secured. Time to see what Eternal Deli in East Williston, New York is working with. I like this place. You go in, it's like old school deli. They had the little letters that they like fit into the sign. Everything was numbered. All the sandwiches were numbered. They had hot food out. Had just about everything you could get from like food to storage containers. They had, uh, it was like its own little convenience store. Time to see what their bacon, egg, and cheese is working with. Let's start off with the wax paper. Nice, thick wax paper. Absolutely raw dogging this sandwich here. And look at this. Okay. We got a nice firm roll on the top here. All right, we got some eggies hanging out this side. All right, on the other side, we got some some chi, some chi dripping out the side there. Now, for the moment of truth, Eternal Deli in East Williston, New York, are you rocking a cheese pull? Survey says, Oh, okay, a little bit better than we've had. But looking at this, this looks like an interesting get up here. Off the rip, cheese on the top and the bottom. Seeing that? We got cheese up top here, cheese on the bottom. All right, we got some eggs in the middle, some bacon. It looks like a little bit of bacon. You know what? The roll's nice and soft here, too. You know what? We're getting after it. Okay, the roll's a little firm. Definitely cheesy. Bacon's in there. Not really getting much of that, though. Eggs are fried. Kind of hard. Hmm. Interesting. Let's pop the top on the second half and see what we're working with here. All right, as suspected from the first half, we got the cheese on top, holding the bacon to the top, which the bacon here, see like, all right, this is, this is what I don't get. The cheese isn't melted, all right? We got just a little bit of bacon, which this bacon by itself doesn't look half bad. Don't get me wrong here, but we're gonna see. Soft, not really hot, but, which would explain why the cheese is not melted because the bacon's not warm. Okay, coming up after that, we got two eggs to flip her over. The bottom, we got some chi again. This is an interesting one. Um, I have to say, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one more bite for science here, and then we're gonna grade this bad girl. All right, maybe two. Now it's time to grade this bad girl. Now, I wanna make one correction before I get absolutely smashed in the comments about it. Uh, I th this is Win Williston Park, I believe, Eternal Deli's in. Now, I'm very confused because the internet says three different things, so I don't really know. So it's either East Williston, Williston Park. It's, 
on, like right now, see, like it's telling me that it's Williston Park. So, I don't really know. It's on Hillside Avenue. <laughs> All right, so Eternal Deli on Hillside Avenue there. Um, sorry, I um, my info is unclear. I don't know. I don't know. So somebody correct me down down below and let me know. That being said, time to grade this bad girl. Now let's start things off with the roll. The roll was kind of hard, but it wasn't hard in a bad way. I will say that um, the taste of the roll was very good. I think the firm, crunchy, not crunchy, but like the crispiness of the top of the roll uh, really helped hold everything together so for the roll I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with a 3.0 for the roll 3.0 for the roll next up was the bacon all right as you saw piece of bacon the bacon was not it was warm it wasn't like it wasn't hot didn't really have any taste to it it was pretty soft so it didn't really do its part at all and uh, there was not a lot of it on there that was the other big uh, downfall so for the bacon bacon I'm gonna go with a 2.9 a 2.9 for the bacon next up was the cheese now the cheese the cheese was on there we had two slices of cheese we had one on top and one on bottom very minimal cheese pull, but this was, I think it was because the sandwich itself just wasn't hot, which is just can't, can't be happening. All right, but the cheese was there throughout. The cheese tasted good. So for the cheese, I'm going to go with a 3.2. 3.2 for the cheese. Now, last but not least, the egg. Uh, the eggs were probably the best part of this entire sandwich. They were fried nice. They weren't too hard. They weren't too soft. Uh, they were nice, greasy, buttery. We like that. So for the eggs, 3.5. On now to my overall grading of Eternal Deli in Williston Park slash East Williston slash Williston. I don't know. This was, this one was a disappointment. Uh, I was very disappointed by this. Going into this deli, I think I got my hopes really, really high. Because sometimes you go into like old school deli feel and you know that like... You know, you know they're back there cranking it out. That they're definitely known for the bacon, egg, and cheese. This place might not be, and uh, to me, I don't think it is. Um, I'm hoping that I caught it on a bad day. Um, I'm, I don't know. So for me, my overall grading of Eternal Deli is going to be a 6.3. 6.3. It had all the potential in the world double cheese, eggs were cooked good, the bacon, the bacon and the roll just didn't, just didn't get it, get it to where it needed to go. So a 6.3 overall for Eternal Deli in, insert here where this place actually is. I was disappointed, definitely disappointed. I thought this was going to be a good one by the look of it, but what are you going to do? So, as always, all the information for all the delis I go are linked in the description below, so you can go check them out. All right, if this is your everyday deli, if I did this disjustice, if I did it wrong, if you think I'm an idiot, drop it in the comment down below, and let's talk about it. And also comment any places you guys want me to go. I've been getting a lot, a lot of recommendations in the comments here and on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at trust me underscore I'm fat. That is all I got. Thank you all for tuning into this week's review, and I will see you next week. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.